Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Afternoon, YouTube. Yes, I am back with the uh, next phase of the pegboard project. Uh, as you can see, that's the start of uh, the holder for the uh, switches. Those switches there and that one there. Um, I have that, uh, that part glued and uh, setting up at the moment. Um, I have the ends cut. I don't have this back piece cut yet. I want to uh, get a good measurement on it uh, before I cut it. And uh, I am going to put a little bit of it. I don't know if you can see. Well, let me go close you can see. There's a little bit of an up, up right there on the end. I'm going to put a, a, a little piece of cardboard in front. That should keep that uh, from sliding too much this way. There's enough room where this area here will be cut out for the uh, wires to go through, the coax for the uh, switches. And those will go through that hole there, and uh, uh, should should work out rather well, I hope. Um, the only thing I'm a little concerned with is if that's going to be able to hold that that much weight. Uh, those are not they're not real heavy, but you know, two of them together. In fact, the the small one is the heavier one. But uh, like I say, we shall see what we shall see. Um, if it's not, then I'll have to uh, try some reinforcement, I guess. But uh, for now, I think what I'm going to do is let that set up good enough to where it uh, it will stand on its own, and I'll probably run another bead down here for a little reinforcement. I don't know about the, the back side; looks like it's pretty well covered, or the bottom side, I should say. Um, and when I put that the piece in front here that goes up, you know, it'll be glued to the bottom and glued to each side. That'll add a more, little more rigid, rigid, rigidity. I can't even say that word. Rigidity, anyway. Um, and of course, the back will be glued on. I've, I've left the space in the back where this will glue here and it glue here and on each side. So uh, that should add some strength to it as well. I hope. And uh, like I say, that's the start of this. Um, just wanted to kind of show you what I was thinking of on, on, on this stuff so I, I've even thought of one now for the solder soldering station maybe on that end uh, similar uh, that's a lot more heavy than these things though but anyway that's just a thought at the moment above that uh, light switch would be kinda nice actually get that out of the way get it up off the bench I'm just trying to get everything off the bench because you know that really takes a lot away from working on things when there's something you have to constantly wor worry about knocking over or whatever. So that's my idea for this this segment. So I I keep talking and talking. I'll just talk all day here. I've talked for three minutes and something already. So uh, I'll bring you back when i got more to show. Yeah, I'm back again. I've got the uh, next phase of the shelf, bracket, whatever you want to call it for the uh, audio switches um, glued excuse me when that sets up I will it's, it's got a little bit of a I don't know if you can see there a little bit of a stick out in the middle I'd like to get that a little bit better but I'm not going to worry about it too much um, I think it'll be fine they don't have to be perfectly level, I don't suppose, but like I said, it's 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 glued. Uh, that top one's not totally glued, but it's glued enough to where it'll it'll stay like that. So that's the second phase. So next phase will be either putting a front piece in here or the back piece. I haven't decided which. That back piece, I may have to reinforce that just a bit because it's going to be holding all the uh, weight of the. Uh, switches and I don't want it to come apart so we'll have to see about that when I get to that part so 
that's it for right now. Uh, good evening again, YouTube. I uh, just uh, put the last glue in. Uh, you can see I got the rest of it. Seams glued inside there. Um, still don't have the front put on, but that's that's a minor thing. Uh, this will probably be cured enough in the morning to uh, go ahead and work on the front. And uh, I've already put it up on the pegboard a little ways just to see how well it's going to hold. I think it's going to need some reinforcement. Um, it's not that it doesn't hold it. You know, both switches it does hold both switches but it sags quite a bit and I just just afraid over time that uh, even the you know I'll say the glue will let loose but it just won't uh, hold up hold up as well as I think it should so like I say this is a learning experience I've thought about bringing a, a wire under the front here and Taking it up to the pegboard and and for for uh, up to the pegboard up you know where it connects and for additional support I think that'll work out really well I have wire to use for that so that's what I plan to do um, other than that I think it's pretty much where I want it and how I want it of course I'm gonna have to cut those space out here for the uh, wires to go through. Uh, that shouldn't be any problem, um, but I think it turned out rather well. Uh, and like I said, I'll take those that uh, screwdriver rack and uh, probably move those clip leads to another location. But uh, I think right above that, uh, pretty much like that one, it's a uh, it bottom is even with the uh, pretty much even with the bottom of the pegboard there. So that's about where I'll set that. And uh, once I get that all in and um, I can wire it up and I plan to put my little uh, shop amp over here probably on the bottom I'm not real sure yet but uh, it'll be fairly easily to, easy to get to and uh, on, on my leads I've, I've decided to put all those leads coming out they'll be uh, on the uh, four position switch here and uh, there'll be one for clip leads, one for just plain uh, RCA plugs, one for uh, uh, eighth inch, uh, eighth inch plug for like a, a Walkman type uh, connection, MP3 player, whatever, what have you. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with the fourth one yet, but I, I had a plan. I can't remember what it was now, but. Uh, and the the three position switch will be for the speakers. They've already got those made up. I think uh, the clip leads, uh, RCA plugs, and uh, those uh, little nails there, which are useful to put in the back of uh, amplifiers with those uh, types of connectors. So that works out rather well. So anyway, that's the plan, and uh, I am going to make this very short tonight. So. So I'll let you know how far I've gotten and what I'm doing. So thanks for watching.